He's a time-traveling badass who can throw down with the best of them. Hey guys, today I'll give you the comic book origins of Cable. Cable has actually become fairly well known in Marvel, most likely thanks to his appearance in Deadpool 2 back in 2018, where he was portrayed by Josh Brolin. Also in the same year when he played Thanos. But, Cable is, well, as I said, a time-traveling badass, but he's also the, the conceived son of Scott Summers, a.k.a. Cyclops, and Madeline Pryor, who would later be found out to be a clone of Scott's first love, Jean Grey. After discovering this, Madeline went on a rampage and offered the child a baby cable up as a sacrifice to an interdimensional portal which led to a demon infested limbo. But this whole thing had actually been arranged by Mr. Sinister, who is another mutant who has been a long time foe of the X Men. But not only that, but since it was also later found out that Cable, as a baby, had been infected with a techno-organic virus set by Apocalypse. But the way of saving the young Cable was to take him 2,000 years into the future, where he would be attended to by a new mother. While this was too dangerous, there was also the solution of cloning the baby in order to try and save his life, which they went ahead with. But actually, Apocalypse kept one of these clones and raised him as his own super soldier, calling him Strife. Not only that, but the mother who, ke who kept the other clone of Cable had taught him ways of Scott and Madeline from the past. But it was into his teen years that he discovered more about the techno-organic virus he was infested with and his mutation of telekinesis. But <clears throat> he frequently butted heads with his brother, or twin clone, Strife, who commanded Apocalypse's armies of the of the clones. But Cable had even discovered that he was able to infect Apocalypse with with the techno organic virus as well. And because of his ability to time travel, him and Apocalypse would butt heads very often. But his choice of weapons is not always his telekinesis. He's more keen to using futuristic firearms and equipment. But he's definitely one of the more capable X-Men. But in order to combat against Strife's forces and his clone army, Cable even assembled his own team of, well, his own resistance, calling it, calling them the X Force. But Cable still remains a fan favorite and has continued to, well, jump the pages of the X Men, and has always had a pretty cool bromance with characters like Deadpool. Especially in Deadpool 2. But that's about it for Cable, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. And comment what you think down below as well. And just want to remind you that pretty soon I've got a little treat coming up. It's something I like to call the ranking. Which you'll find out more when I do it in about a week. See you guys.